In Hyper-V, we have three types of virtual switches. Now, a virtual switch itself is what allows communication between the internet, the host, and or other virtual machines on the host. Depending on the type of switch you choose, that will determine what you can actually connect to from the virtual machine itself. The only one of these that can connect you to the network is external. That will provide you external access outside of the host machine. It does that by mapping to a network adapter in the host. So your virtual machines will use a network adapter in the host to communicate with the network with the internet. That is the only one that allows network access. The internal and private are both isolated. The internal, that's used to communicate between the virtual machines on a host server and to communicate between the virtual machine and the host itself. What we mean by that with internal, if I have a host, I have a VM on the host. If I have an internal switch, I can log into the VM. And if your host had a shared folder on it, you could actually, from the VM, you could browse the share on the host. So you do have network connectivity to the host with internal, but that's as far as you can go. You could communicate with other VMs if they were on the same switch and you communicate with the host, but you could not communicate with anything on the network itself. You could not communicate with the internet. So still isolated, just other VMs on the host and the host. Private is the most isolated. This is used to only communicate between virtual machines on the Hyper-V host. It does not allow communication with the host itself. So in the previous example, uh, we used internal, but if we were to make this private, now if your host had a shared folder, it would not be possible for you to go to your VM and connect to that share on the host if it's private. You can only connect to other virtual machines on the host, but you could never communicate with the host itself.